Four years ago, Ewart Brown said after the 2003 election, we had to mislead you. Four or five weeks ago, Ewart Brown said you would see a monumental smear campaign by the United Bermuda Party in the run-up to this election. Well, today, we know what he means, but it's not by the United Bermuda Party. It's by the Progressive Labor Party. I stand here today with my colleagues to say, Bermuda, we must appeal to our leadership to stop this nonsense. This election needs to be about issues and leadership moving forward. Clearly, in the strongest tone that I can, that Bermudians deserve better than they're getting at the present time. We will not descend into the gutter of the smear tactics of politics. Everything written in this advertisement is an outright lie and a misrepresentation, and we will not tolerate it. The United Bermuda Party, in our platform, says nothing about hanging or flogging, nothing about life sentences for people. The Progressive Labor Party would choose to distort and lie and mislead people. Well, my fellow Bermudians, I stand here today to tell you we're not going to take it. And I ask you to join us as we move forward together. Well, we're going to keep this election on the high road. We're going to talk about our programs and our policies. We're going to talk about the message of hope that the United Bermuda Party has for all of our people of Bermuda. We choose not to practice or preach hate. It's all about hope. It's all about opportunity. It's all about celebrating our diversity and respecting tolerance for each and every individual from the East End to the West End. That's what it's about as we move forward in Bermuda. Our party has continued to preach hope and not practice hate. Because clearly, Ewart Brown and his colleagues are desperate it's a desperate party trying desperate measures. And I can understand and accept that Ewart Brown would allow an advertisement to go in the paper as is today. But I certainly don't understand how his colleagues approved it as well. And all of us as Bermudians need to stand up and say enough's enough. Because we're all good people. We all want the best. And this election shouldn't be about smear. It should be about programs and policies that work. And we will bring this campaign back to that high road. We will talk about the programs that I mentioned. We will talk about the drastic need to focus in on crime, because clearly what my colleagues and I here on the doorstep, day in and day out, night in and night out, is that crime is rising to levels that's not acceptable. And perhaps the only person who feels safe in Bermuda right now is Ewart Brown himself, because he's got a bodyguard. Well, is that acceptable? Is that acceptable for us as Bermudians to feel unsafe? And the PLP attacks us and says we're too tough on crime because all we want to do is enforce the rules that we have on the book, create legislation that will make us all feel safer on the homes, on the roads, and at the same time offer our brothers and sisters a hand up when need be. I ask you to rally with us today. Rally with us in the remaining 13 days of this election and show everyone in Bermuda, that there is a better way. There's a way where we join together as brothers and sisters and get the best out of our leadership. That's what I will stand for with my colleagues in the United Bermuda Party, the best that we have to offer. I just wanted to, uh, thank you, Leader, make some comment with regard to the uh, misleading information that's been put out with regard to the three strikes uh, platform that we have come up with. No one, no one, with regard to three strikes is talking about life imprisonment. We're talking about a three strike system where in the first two strikes, which have been conveniently ignored, we wish to implement programs of rehabilitation with the thread of education running through our penal system to raise people's hopes and spirits that are incarcerated by assisting them with becoming more educated and giving them the hope to come out and find jobs through those programs. This is a government that has ignored that approach entirely with a complete failure with regard to approach to rehabilitation.